Hi, welcome to the small shed. This Saturday we've got to make a jigsaw tray in a hurry. See you in a minute. Now we're off down to uh, Western Supermare tomorrow, hopefully. And one of the things my wife wanted to take down over Christmas was a little jigsaw. It's only a small 500 piece one, but she just thought she might want to do some of that when uh, the kids had gone to bed and it was quiet. And we've got a large tray that I normally dig out from under the settee in the front room that she uses over Christmas when she's doing jigsaws. Um, but they're larger ones, thousand pieces plus sort of size. She just wanted something small as a tray sort of thing to take with us this time. And I haven't got a lot of time. We don't want to spend a lot of money on it because it's more or less an expendable item for just for this weekend uh, and the week ahead. So I'm going to have a go, see what I can scrounge out of the shed and throw something together in a bit of a hurry and see how we get on. Let's have a look and see what we've got. So this is the sort of thing we're talking about. It's only a small jigsaw, something she's picked up in one of the charity shops. The size is, finished size, 49 by 34.3 centimeters. So we want something probably 500 wide, a little bit longer than the 334 centimeters 350 sort of millimeters high because we need somewhere for the spare bits to go as well uh, so perhaps looking maybe at 600 by 400 450 something like that so I'm not quite sure what I've got in the shed first thoughts are probably um, in the cardboard line although I'm not sure I've got some cardboard left over from the large figures I did um, earlier in the year but also um, probably more useful would be uh, yeah foam core which is slightly more rigid that stuff that I've used from the when I was making the cyclones marking them out for that if nothing else, it'll get rid of another bit of junk in the shed because it'll probably be uh, discarded once we've got Christmas over or as likely as not end up in the roof ready for next year. But there's not a great deal of work in this, it's just that it um, shows the need to be able to sometimes just improvise at fairly short notice because as I say I've only got a couple of hours to do this. Mark that out, just cut it down with a sharp knife and then we'll have to find something to put a retainer around the edge to stop the pieces falling off on the floor. see what we've got. I don't really want to use, you know, the, I've got tulip wood that's quite nice and would do nicely but it's a little bit heavy, a bit overkill and I don't really want to use decent timber on it. Um, just have a look and see what else there is. There's a piece of I don't know where that's come from, but there's some quite nice, that's MDF, that's had a rip taken off it, painted white on two faces, that might start me off. That's beading off the old conservatory, suffered a bit over the years, but again it might 
not quite enough, but another piece there. Yeah, that might do. Let's have a look and see. Yeah, I think that's ideal. I've got some a couple of pieces of trim that came off our conservatory probably 15 years or so ago. It's left over from the kit of parts I had to to build it from Wix. Um, I've got a bit of, I don't know what this has come off, it's a rip of MDF that's been painted. I can't even remember what I got that from or what I've used it for but it'll do do me for, I think I'll do the sides with this, may even just take a little bit of relief out of them to make like a handhold like a tray and then at the front and the back that should that's slightly short but by the time I've got the two ends going across that might do me that'll just give it a bit of rigidity at the front and at the back and it'll stop the pieces flowing off but it won't get in the way of your hands whereas the side pieces will be higher. So I'm just going to cut all this to size and we'll see what we can do by way of making a, a cut out or something on that just to give you a hand finger hold. When I was down at Yandel's in the summer I picked up a load at their uh, annual exhibition of, of this Merca abrasive. It's the uh, stuff that you can almost see through. It clears itself, self-cleaning almost. It's brilliant stuff. I recommend anybody that hasn't tried it to get some. I'm waiting for a pad to come through that's like a hand sanding pad that this will attach to with Velcro. But it really is, it, it's fantastic stuff. Much better than uh, normal sandpaper, as far as I can see at the moment. It's a bit of a mess, but um, proves it's working. I've got different grades. I bought probably half a dozen or ten of each grade, but so far I've been using this one of each grade for couple of weeks now and there's no sign of it getting any duller or less effective. Brilliant stuff. I'm not sure how or even if this will work, probably wreck the pieces, but I've got um, a couple of marks on here that represent the midpoint and two inches either side. I've got a route a bit in there with a curved top I'm hoping if I can just feed that onto it and then feed it along four inches and then pull it back off it'll give me a, a hand little finger relief place in the side so we'll have a go and see I'm doing it slowly in little stages but we'll see what happens probably wreck it but um, we'll have to get a plan B if we do that Well, it's been moderately successful it just gives you a little bit of a finger space to lift the tray with I'll cut out the uh, board underneath it once it's glued on all I'm going to do now is just glue those on glue the front and back pieces in and then probably when it's dry give it a little coat of white primer just to tidy it all up So that's it now, it's glued up and reasonably substantial, it fills the brief I think, it's got a couple of little hand slots in it just to be able to lift it up like a tray, uh, the only thing it could do with is a bit of paint, again time is of the essence so I'm going to just give it a quick spray of white primer, that should do us fine.
Well there we are, it's nothing special but it's something we threw together in an hour or so. It should serve its purpose and it's cost me nothing other than using up old scraps so hope that was of interest. Uh, if you enjoyed the videos please press like and subscribe. Uh, subscriber count is steadily climbing all the while. Thanks very much indeed to all those who've come on board in recent months and all those who've been there since the beginning. Um, this is the last video before Christmas so let me wish you all a very happy Christmas. Look forward to seeing you all on Christmas Day, uh, 3 o'clock. Forget the Queen's speech, uh, I shall be running a series of effectively 14 videos on a daily basis from Christmas Day onwards uh, based around the 12 days of Christmas, set of very tortuous builds based on that. Look forward to seeing you then. In the meantime, have a great Christmas. Look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.